Hey families, I'm gonna move that camera a little bit. I just wanted to post a quick YouTube video about the ratio tables that the kids are starting to see, uh, especially in unit two. So previously, the kids have been seeing ratio tables that look like this one right here. And basically all a ratio table is, is you put a number in and then a number comes out. And we just try to find the rules of those. So if we were to look at this ratio table, if I put in one and out comes two, I know that all I'm doing to each of these numbers is multiplying it by two. And so that's the basics of a ratio table. It's just kind of like math facts. Now for the ratio tables that they're starting to see on this side, typically we're starting to see ratio tables that have and I'll just write this in real quick. So we're starting to see ratio tables that have a lot of brokenness in it and it's not really flowing. And a lot of the time they're really starting with numbers that are not one and we have to find the rest of it. And so some of the questions that the kids are gonna see are what is the rule? Meaning like when you put in something, what's coming out? What's the fifth line and what's the 13th line? And so it's gonna ask a variety of the questions. Um, it might not always be these, but I just wanted to do an example so that you guys can kind of help them out at home or they can refer back to it if they need it. All right, so one of the things that I like to do, especially when we're finding the rule of the ratio table, if you hear kiddos, I brought my son EJ in and he's just kind of swinging the bat around, hitting the desks. So when I try to find the rule, the first thing I do is I find a number that is very easily divided by. And for me, that number is going to be 10. And so I know that if I divide 20, which goes with 10, if I divide 20 by 10, I'm going to get 2. And I know that when I get one, we're gonna get two, just by being able to do that quick math. So now we know what the rule is, and we can move from there. So when I look at the fifth line, I've told the students there's a couple ways we can do it. They could have simply done five times two, or for bigger numbers, they can take 10 and divide it by two, and 20 and divide it by 2, and they're going to be able to get the answer because 5 is half of 10. And so we're able to go ahead and put that in there. And I'll write this like this just so. Hi, EJ. And so for the fifth line, we know that we have a 10. You want to swing the bat, buddy? Yeah. And with 13 then, all we need to do is follow the rule. 13 times 2 is going to be 26. They're going to have questions that are a lot bigger. And they're going to have some that might be small like this. This is just an example of how we've been working the ratio tables so that they can learn some math. 